Hi everyone, um, well today what I'm going to actually speak to you about is I'm going to do a demonstration on girls that when they're going out um, they feel like they have to impress people like with loads of makeup, eyeshadow and stuff so I want to obviously get the feeling and see why it's so important why girls spend so long like in the morning when they're only going to places like school or work uh, to make themselves look good uh, just, I mean it's nice obviously like to get yourself dressed up and that but see when you're starting to wear like even like girls that are going to high school it's like half, I mean I'm 30 now and like even half of them that go to school now it's like they look older than me because like they have to go with, like fake tans, spray tans, like every type of tan like sun beds and stuff and because of that type of thing in some salons they've even had to put like the ratings of like the sun, the tan beds up to 18 restricted now because like I don't know why it's so important for girls to actually like think that their bodies like deserve to go through all this abuse just to impress people or just make themselves feel good. I mean I'm a natural and I'm a very natural person but I basically want to get the feeling of like how it feels to have all this on your face and look at absolute state like go out these kind of like places and to show people that natural is like just as good. It's like girls now go to school with a belt. The only time she would ever go to school with a belt is short, like a belt skirt is like never. Like you may as well like turn up to school like naked if you need that to get the attention that you want from like the guys and stuff. It's so weird. But stay tuned because I will show you my makeup tutorial on what not to wear. Um, and hopefully people would realise like how natural and how better your skin is. Bye! Hi again. Well, I've got a couple of wigs here which I'm going to demonstrate. Um, this year is like maybe the first time in a lot, like ever, that I've seen so many people with different outrageous colour hairstyles. So I've basically got like a pink wig. And I've also got like a, a blue one. Like people will have their hair this colour. Like even if they're going to school or going out and stuff. And it's like they'll go to school. Or even if they're going out at the weekend or something. Like even if they're going around the shops and stuff. They'll have like this wig on. But. Hey there again. Um, well. I've decided to go with a blue wig just now, um, but apparently this is in style, like, so I'm obviously going to try and fit with the young trends these days. So this is a long wig, um, blue, and apparently you wear them with a blue top. This is like supposed to be really in just now. Look stupid, but hey, I'll have to get with the trends. Oh, apparently, this is what some people call style. Um, don't know what kind of style it is because, like, you just look like a big weird. Smurf. So this is one style. Hi again, well I decided to put a blonde wig on. Well, sorry, pink wig. But my hair would have had to be blonde in the first place to get the red, well, pink wig. But then people decide to when they're going out, like, to put on maybe like this absolutely gorgeous dress, it's like the same colour as her hair. It's not like it goes, I mean, it's like it's quite stylish apparently, that's what most people quite young use as a style, so obviously if that's in style I may as well just wear that as well. <laughs> yeah, I look, I look amazing. I slightly look like a cartoon character just now and it's very stylish. Not. Well, that's one, that's two styles.
Well, this is me ready to do like the bimbo version of like my tutorial. Um, loads of fake tan. Um, you basically like people probably go through loads of bottles of this. Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, I did used to wear a lot of fake tan in the past, but I'm just going to do it in my face just now because it'll probably take me a while to get this actually off my face. Um, so can't really find a mitt, but it doesn't matter because. I'm only doing this as a tutorial and I can't really get this out of here properly. Basically people just rub it all over their face. This tan basically comes out. The only problem is I can't really do fake eyelashes. I won't be like good at them, but... And my coat's not enough, obviously. Now it's time for the bronzer. I mean, I've already got some of this on my face, and it's actually like feeling minging and stuff. So I don't know how people can wear this on their face quite a lot. But my bronzer. Just remember to rub on the top of it because you don't want to end up with a five o'clock shadow. Well, so you can see. <laughs> really, really honest, I don't normally wear 
like this much makeup. I normally wear like Mac, but really light stuff or organic makeup. But a lot of people buy it for your Christmas and stuff. But I just want to basically see how long it would take somebody just to look like that. I'm just basically using blue at the top of my eyes. This is basically styles that some lasses might wear going to school that I'm demonstrating. I don't know why, but for some reason in the last few years, what I've noticed is that when girls are going out, they also have to have like a lipstick on, which yeah, apparently this looks good. Like, and girls are going to school. Yeah, but my face is like really uncomfortable. Confess, the way that like, I could never wear my makeup like it's gonna. It looks nice though. I just think it's better being natural than being like totally fake. It's like some girls are really, really pretty anyway, so they don't really need to wear all this makeup all over their face. Especially when I go to school. Well, that's all I've got time for. My battery's going to go on my phone, but remember to subscribe my YouTube channel. And if there's anything else, like there's not, 
outrageous ones and stuff, but anything, any other videos you would like me to see me acting out, uh, please comment at the bottom and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.